David Casella here at Earthworks on Sunday to give you an instructional video on cycads. Cycads are the oldest living plants on the earth. They existed back 300 to 350 million years ago uh, here on the earth when dinosaurs roamed around. Probably were dinosaur food and the reason why they're still here today is because they are toxic. 100% of the plant, the caudex, trunk, leaves, stems, seeds uh, are all toxic so that's one reason that's probably helped them exist here but I wanted to go over today the main topic were two cycads that I acquired of uh, July of 18 from a uh, Central Florida Palm and Cycad Society friend in St. Petersburg that we planted here as showcases in the garden center. Uh, the first one will be in Cephalartus ferox commonly known as a Zululand cycad. It's found in uh, Eastern Africa, equatorial region near Malawi and Mozambique, Africa. And the second one is in Cephalardus gratis, which is a larger growing cycad, uh, also found in the Mozambique, Africa area. Uh, what I wanted to tell you was these cycads are very rare and due to habitation development and illegal poaching from collectors uh, that try to get a big yield from sales because there's collectors uh, are really sought after. I'm a collector myself. Uh, there's a list called an IUCN Red List of Species. That stands for International Union for Nature Conservation and most of them are, uh, are highly endangered with a few that are, that are extinct. There's no, no native stands of them and the only ones that exist maybe might be in an arboretum or a private collector so they're pretty special but the first one I want to go over is the Encephalartus ferox, commonly known as a Zulu land cycad from Malawi and Mozambique in Africa. Uh, in the spring, they put out what they call a flush, they, in cycad terms, uh, an event of new leaves coming out. And it's great for collectors because they always wait for spring. It's like when you were a kid back in the day and you were so anxious to open up your Christmas presents. Every day we look, we look, we see the new leaves come out. Uh, and it's like opening up Christmas presents at Christmas time. And of course, the, the larger the cycad, the more leaves that'll come out at once. I just want to show you an example. This is an Encephalartus bubalinus. It's uh, my personal one that I wanted to uh, bring in, but they start off as a single leaf. And then every season when the new flush comes, when they're small like this, it's one leaf at a time. And like I said, the older the cycad and the more developed the diameter of the caudex is, they'll put out two or three. As you can see, the ferox is at the two per flush rate right now. So, And the Encephalartus ferox on the IUCN list is uh, near threatened, meaning uh, it's in an area where there might be poaching or development and habitat and the, the numbers are decreasing. So here's the little cycad. Now what it is is they come up and uh, over a course of about three weeks or so, the leaves come out really fast and then they're very soft, kind of fuzzy, like a little fuzzy caterpillar and then they harden off once they reach their extended size. Uh, and then you may see another flush in the fall of one leaf, uh, but as, like I said, as older they get, the more and more they put out. And I wanted to walk down here. This is our native one, Zamia. Floridana or Integrifolia. You can see these have already flushed out and they're lighter green and soft uh, and then they'll harden off and darken off. But this is our native cycad. Uh, it's more of a shrubby cycad. We carry them here at Earthworks. And also this is the Mexican native. This is uh, Zamia furfuracea, which is the, uh, they call it a cardboard palm, not to be confused with a, with a palm. It's totally not related to a palm at all. But just because of the look and the structure and the silhouette it's, it's commonly called a, a cardboard palm but it's a cycad. But you can see the new flushes come out, uh, they're soft and really furry with the to tomentum hair on them and then they'll come out and then harden off. But it's a really uh, exciting thing to see these new leaves come out. All us cycad collectors get so excited. We sell this here too by the way and this is uh, Dayun Edule, another Mexican native. You can see some cycads, most of them also uh, put out offsets or pups as they're known as once they reach a certain age. And these can be uh, carefully divided and pulled out. Uh, we also carry this at Earthworks. This one, as you can see, hasn't uh, 
put out a spring flush yet Dayun seem to be a little bit behind for some reason uh, because mine are doing the same thing my encephalitis are flushing and the Dayun only one of them has started yet but look to see this one flush in the next 30 days or so and then everybody knows this the most commonly distributed and marketed cycad in the world Cycus revoluta or the sago cycad also it's confused to be called a sago palm but no relation to a palm uh, it's just now starting to uh, push out two new leaves they look like fuzzy little caterpillars now over the course of the next two to three weeks these will push up pretty fast you'll notice a difference in the change of height per day uh, and then they'll harden off uh, and uh, may flush again in the fall so I'll show you my personal one over here the encephalitis ferox this is one of mine I brought and it's starting to, to flush too so it's a little bit behind this one but I see one leaf coming up here like I said it's younger a little smaller so as it gets older it'll put up two three and the ferox species term in Latin terms means ferocious uh, so usually most plants are named their species name which is the second part of the name due to the description or look of the plant or they're named after the discoverer or maybe a collector or a region in the world where they're grown at a mountainous region, a prairie, a desert. So if anybody was wondering whatever the second word of a botanical or scientific name of a plant is, that's usually what it means. And then I want to go over to Encephalitis gratis. Morning, how are you doing? We're just shooting a little video, but it's okay. okay. This is Encephalitis gratis, a rare cycad also from tropical Africa, uh, Mozambique. And it just put out a new flush. This, like I said, was planted summer of July of 18, and it's a really unique site. Uh, this one's put out six leaves, and you can still see that they're soft and shiny. Over the next couple weeks, these will extend, firm up, and harden up, and they'll, they'll have a permanent leathery look like this. And this one's uh, on the IUCN list as uh, vulnerable. Uh, like us on YouTube, give us a thumbs up, thumbs up, follow us on Facebook and have a great day.